Hi, this is a tutorial for using the Rapid Pose for Maya. Uh, it is designed to work exclusively with the Rapid Rig Advanced. So if you have a character set up using the Rapid Rig Advanced, you can use the uh, Rapid Pose for that character. In this case, I have two characters set up. One is just a, uh, a character using the Rapid Mesh, and uh, this is a model I've, I've built based off a, a concept from uh, Joel McMillan. He's a really talented artist uh, that I've, I've been able to work with, and uh, you should check out his website, joelmcmillan.com. I'll add the link in uh, the description to this video. So what I want to do is, is uh, bring up the interface, and to do that, I'm just going to type in dsn underscore rapid pose. And here we have uh, this interface, which should look familiar to you if you've set up a character using the Rapid Rig Advanced. So we can customize the thumbs, fingers, and toes of our UI, similar to how you set up your character, as well as the tune arms and legs. Now these characters are slightly different. Um, they both have the same number of uh, fingers and thumbs, but they have different number of toes. Also, this character here has the tune controls, the curve controls, whereas this one does not. So in this case, when you have something like this, you want to just set up your interface to work for the maximum number. So the maximum number of toes I have on either character is uh, 5. So I'll set that to 5. This character has two arms and legs. This one does not. So in this case, I will turn it on. And once I've set all this, I can go ahead and hit OK. And this is an interface uh, that comes up. You may want to simplify it depending on what you have. So if you only had one character without the tune arms, without all the bells and whistles, it could look something just like this. So a lot simpler, as you can probably see. Okay, but I'm going to just keep with this one because this has everything that I need for my characters. And I can close this window now. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just give you a quick explanation of all this stuff. Uh, at the top we have the ability to use a name of a rig or we can just use it based on selection. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, we have the head, jaw, neck controls, the spine uh, controls, clavicle, shoulder, wrist. These are your fingers and uh, thumb. Uh, now we have the legs here and these are your toes. And then we have some selection options on either side uh, and then some other quick ways of, of uh, either mirroring or setting one side of the character to the other, um, resetting, and, and that's about it. So, uh, just to start at the top, if you're working with multiple characters, if you select any control and you start selecting these things, okay, it'll select that for the current selected character. If I have a control on this guy selected, it will only select controls on that guy. Uh, now for the selection types, I can select all the controls, I can deselect all, and then I have a select, which will just select each one, elbow, oops, grab control here, select elbow, wrist, palm, thumbs, all that stuff. Uh, then I have select add, and what this will do is it will add more controls to your current selection. And then I have subtract, so if I no longer want to uh, be working with the thumb control, I can deselect that one, just to get rid of those, so now I just have the shoulder. If you find uh, that you're just working with one character at a time, and you end up deselecting, and then you have to select a controller every time you want to grab that shoulder again, uh, what you can do instead is tell it to use a name, and then we can either type in the name of this rig, which is uh, jmac, short for Joel McMillan, or I can uh, just load rig if I have one of the controls selected, and there we go. So now, no matter what I have selected, even if I have a controller on this one selected, it's going to grab controls on this guy. Okay, so now I can go in and start using this. So I can grab the head control and start manipulating that. Uh, 
Uh, I can grab the shoulder. Now, if you're in FK mode, it will automatically grab the FK controls. If you're in IK mode, like I am with the legs, it will automatically grab the IK controls. All right. Um, so I can grab things in either either view, either here, or I can grab them here, even if they're controllers that are turned off. For the uh, fingers, um, if, if you're having a hard time grabbing these, which it can be a bit tricky to grab the ones you want, right, you can see it's a bit of a pain. So what I can do is uh, use these. So I can select any control I want. I can use my add if I want to add controls to it. Or what's easier than that is uh, if I want to grab all three of the first finger, I can click on the little arrow that points in that direction and grab all three of that one, all three of this one. All three of that. I can also grab controls uh, along the other direction. So all the first controls of all the fingers, I can grab all those all at once. All the second ones. All the third ones. And if I want, I can select all of the controls of the fingers, all, all of them at once. And this works the same for the toes. So for this character, I could go in and do the same thing for the toes. Uh, for IKFK switching, Here's the switch control here. I can grab it by clicking this. Um, and I can switch between IK and FK from here. Now, if you want to use the IKFK matching, so let's say I've posed my character something like that. And if I'm switching between IK and FK, you can see that obviously the controls move from one to the other. If I want the IK controls to move to the FK, what I can say is go tell IK to go to FK. What this will do is it will line up the IK controls to the FK as well as switch everything to IK mode. So when I click this, it moved everything over and now I'm in IK mode. So if I switch, you can see that they line up with each other. And now I can start manipulating in IK mode. Um, so that's selection, that's the fingers, that's the switching. I can do the same switching on the legs. Um, I can grab all those stuff. With the curve control, so I'll just quickly explain that. So I'm just going to turn these on. They don't have to be on to actually select them from here, but I'll just turn them on so you can see visually. Uh, so I still have my curve controls, which will automatically give the character some some bend give that toony sort of look All right, so you can see with a zero curve it's pretty standard like a elbow would be um, but as I add this you can see they sort of do a nice flow so you can see the wrist flows out nicely from into the arm. Uh, and then if I want to really go in there and refine this shape, I can grab these controls here. And again, there's so many here that you might find it easier to grab them from here. So I can grab just the elbow control from here. I can grab the upper arm, lower arm, and then I can grab each of the individual ones. So this grabs uh, each joint that are that is in the arm. And I can grab all three of them, similar to how the fingers work, and I can move all three, which is really distorting the character. Uh, then at the bottom, we have a couple more buttons. So I have left to right. Okay, so what that will do is it will mask, or match all the left stuff to the right. Now, it doesn't change the center controls because they're centered. There's no way to go left to right on those. If you want to do something like that, you probably want to use mirror. So you flip the whole character and then I can still use the uh, left to right, right to left. And then I also have my resets, so I reset transforms, and reset extras will get rid of some of the curve and other things like that. So it's pretty easy to get back to your default pose. 
And then if I want to switch over to this character, it's pretty simple to load that guy. And now I'm manipulating this one instead. So I think that's about all the uh, features of this. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me and I'll uh, try to help you out as much as I can. Thanks.